Okay, so we've got all the movable leaves removed. We've got the felt punchings and the felt hinge removed. So we're ready now to remove the bottom leaves of the pneumatics from this board here. Now, you'll remember I mentioned that this board is extremely soft sugar pine. So any attempt to use um, a chisel to you know pop these off by force is just gonna completely ruin this bottom board, which is glued along the entire back and both sides here. So that is definitely not an option. So what we're going to do is use steam to soften the glue and remove these boards. Now, steam doesn't discriminate. It will soften any glue joint that it comes into contact with. And so you have to be extremely careful of this board here where all the valve seat because while it's fairly thick on this end, it gradually gets thinner, thinner, thinner. Here it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Here it's an eighth of an inch thick. And here you can actually see the glue joint where two pieces of wood were glued together. If I left this board unprotected and allowed it to get hot and allowed the steam to contact it, this glue joint would open up. So I need to protect this from the steam. Uh, so fortunately, I have a piece of 1 16th inch thick phenolic, which not only stops the steam from getting through, but it also uh, helps keep the heat from getting through. And it's just the right size to work in behind The pneumatics there. So I've got a hot iron uh, set to linen, the highest uh, temperature it will go. I've got a piece of quarter inch thick uh, aluminum plate. It's approximately what four and a half, five inches by seven, eight inches. I've got a bucket of water here with an old washcloth. I've put a drop of dish soap into the water just to uh, remove the surface tension. Watch your nose, pup. So I fold the washcloth in half. So I just, um, you know, wrung it out slightly so that it's not dripping. Place the plate on top of it. Oh, and you'll need a piece of uh, or a pair of pliers to grab the plate once it's heated. So now just set that hot iron on the plate. And let it sit there for about two and a half minutes. Okay, it's been two and a half minutes, so let's see how we did. Remove the iron. Washcloth always wants to stick to the aluminum. Put it back in the water. And you can see with very little effort. The pneumatics come off. With no damage at all to the board underneath. All right. And you can see this was protected here and didn't have a problem with this glue joint. So looking good. And we'll just move on down to the next bunch of them. Remember this is still hot.
Okay, two and a half more minutes is up, so let's... Remove these guys. That one might need, well, that might need just a tad more steaming. Okay, this should be ready now. Now that just pops right off, no trouble at all. That one's going to need a little more work. I'm just barely wringing this out. Not even. It's still quite full of water. So it's just barely. Well, that it was dripping a tiny bit. You can see we've got all the pneumatic boards removed and all we have left is a little bit of glue residue which we will sand off later. So we succeeded in removing all those boards without damaging our deck board and then of course we did not do any damage at all to this uh, backboard where the valve seat because we protected it with our a phenolic sheet. Now I'm a firm believer in using just the amount of water necessary to get the job done and not too much water. And then when I'm done, I want to get rid of any remaining moisture as quickly as possible. So you can see I've got a fan on here just to dry up any little bit of uh, moisture that might have penetrated the, the deck board there.